Hello guys and welcome back to Grand Stream Saga. This is you too young for this. And last time we got uh, locked up in this uh, in this jail cell because our CEO wouldn't shut up uh, about uh, insulting the local religion here. And so they held us in contempt and found us guilty of heresy, treason, and all sorts of all fun stuff. Don't ask me why. Because we wouldn't except their salvation from <laughs> their lord Levante. Well, look to Levante for salvation. But, yeah. We'll just go ahead and try to figure out a way to get out of here. Ah, there she is. Aeon. Arcia. What's wrong? Is something the matter? Oh no, I didn't mean to get you in trouble like this. I'm so sorry. It's, it's alright, Arcia. She was making her followers believe that foolish reasoning. I would have said something if there weren't so many of them. You didn't do anything wrong. Don't blame yourself for this. It's not fair. If I had kept my mouth shut, we wouldn't be stuck in here. But I couldn't let them believe. Are you alright? They beat you up quite a bit. I'm alright. How about you, Arcia? Did they hurt you? I am such a pest. You must hate me. I wish I could just... I wish I would have just left it to you and Laramie. But then again, we wouldn't be able to cite the lifting verse because you're the only one that can cite the lifting verse and actually make it work, Arcia. So don't beat yourself over it. Stupid idiot. Glad we survived. They're a little nuts. We have had to find we have to find a way to get out of here. Aye, that'd be the case, Corky. Let us try to find our way out of here. But yeah, we can't move the the uh, bars and all that. So. Ha ha ha! It's another day of harsh work for these fools. What the crap is going on? I'm with you, Corky. I have no idea what the crap is going on. Some guy or jail jailer wants us to work for him. I don't know why. <laughs> you are new you are new around here. Now it's time for work. Stand by the door. Don't you mean stand away from the door? <laughs> don't be late. This is your chance to atone for your sins. As you work, your evil nature will slowly dis disperse and you will purify your blood. You should be grateful to Salila for giving you this opportunity. <laughs> you can come out now. All right. You will work at the place where we can pay homage to Levante. Yeah, whatever. Before we go pay homage to Levante, I'm going to head off into this little jail cell because, cleverly hidden, a little chest here, which we can actually upgrade our shield with. Yay, metal! Finally, we get a brand new shield. And we have obtained the Neptune. And, uh... Neptune, even though it does lower our defense just by a little bit, and I still have the Onimaru equipped for some odd reason, so that means back down to the Bastard Sword. Uh, it, Even though it raises our defense a little bit, it resists ice magic attacks, which, well, we're here on an ice world, so yeah, might as well do that. There's nothing else of note in the other gel cells, it's just... That shield, so yay, we get a new shield. We're protected against ice attacks and all that. The guard told me to come in here. The guard's right behind you. What are you doing? You must be new. What are you. My goodness. Do these people have, like, short term memories or something? Because this is the exact same guy that got us out of our cell and told us to actually get out of here and work. Oh, whatever. Well, so let's go ahead and get out of here and work. You're late! I guess you aren't taking this seriously enough. I'll teach you to offend our leader. Actually, I'm not the one who offended your leader. It was Arcia. And so why the crap Aeon is getting the punishment, I have no idea. Smack. Ow. Get up! Remember that we still have your little girlfriend, you know what I mean, right? So it all depends on you. <laughs> Get up. Listen carefully. This is where you will work. We call it the pits. Because it's a pit. 
Yes. In order to rid your soul of its evil, you must work here. So Layla will decide when you have gone, done enough to be worthy of forgiveness by Levante. To deserve his salvation. Anyway, watch him. Make sure he gets to work. And we're watching stuff. Yeah. I don't know why we're watching. If you collect ten pieces of obsidian, you may return to your prison cell. Why do I want to return to my prison cell? I want to get out of here. I don't want to collect your obsidian, so yeah. Hey, are you trying to escape? Don't waste your time. Get back to work. Alright, I guess we won't be able to have... Get out of here. But yeah, this is kind of one of the most tedious things in here in this game. I kind of don't like this. I'd rather fight enemies than actually go up and search these walls. We basically have to go up and search these walls for obsidian. And uh, we found a power source. Yay! Cool, LP increased by one. Life up. But yeah, so we just have to go around and start seeing things. Or, well, try to find obsidian. I don't know why they want us to try and get obsidian uh, out of these walls. If you guys have ever played Minecraft, you'd know obsidian is like the hardest material around. So how the crap we can actually obtain pieces of, of obsidian is a little interesting to me. And, uh, oh yeah, we gain a level from finding a piece of obsidian. Don't ask me why. Don't worry, there's going to be some really odd moments in this game where we gain level ups. Um, so, yeah. I don't really like how they made the level system in here, in this game. So, yeah. And if I knew where all these obsidian pieces were, I would go directly for them. But, uh, I don't know exactly where they are. Hopefully I'll be able to find a whole bunch of them, so... Yay, we're almost halfway done. Yay! I don't know. Do you guys... I may speed up a little bit or do stuff, because... Yeah! <laughs> Looking for obsidian! Kind of like a coal miner thing, I don't know. I've only been in a mine once, it was an actual silver mine. It was the Park City silver mine in Utah. Ever know that? And it was uh, the Park City mine, Park City silver mine. They actually had it opened up to uh, people to take tours of. Now they don't have it opened up. I don't know why they decided to close it down. But uh, it was actually pretty interesting. I would have loved to have gone again to go see it. It's just, I don't know. I kind of like cave systems and mines and all of that. It was just interesting to see a little bit of the mining operation they had in there. There's like this tunnel that, uh, it's like a two and a half mile long tunnel that uh, when they built it, they didn't have any uh, decent way of actually making it straight. And so they did it by hand. And uh, yeah, this two and a half long tunnel actually goes to the, connects to the outside of the mountain. And when you're inside of the mine, and you actually uh, look down this look down this tunnel, um, you can actually see light at the end of the tunnel. After you know, you're two and a half miles into the mountain, and yet you can actually see light down the tunnel. It's actually pretty darn interesting. Anyway, after that ramble, we found ten pieces of obsidian, and apparently we can go back to our cell. I have no idea why we want to go back to our cell. I think we have to do that, like, one more time, one or two more times before we figure out how to get out of here. So, yay! You forget about your material needs, you may be considered for reincarnation by Levante. Reincarnation? I thought it was resurrection. Dude, you were preaching resurrection, and now you're preaching reincarnation? Can you make up your mind, dude? I could see a little bit of uh, discrepancies between what you're saying and what uh, Salela is saying, so... I have no idea. Ow! Dude, you don't need to be rude. <laughs> you sure are clumsy. You must be full of sin. A lot of hard work will do you good. To believe in Levante is the only way you will survive. 
Aeon. Don't worry about me, Arcea. I'll be fine. I have the power of the scepter to guide me. But uh, we shall see if we can actually get out of here at midnight. And what's going on at midnight? Arcea, what the crap are you doing? If only I've kept quiet. Sacred spirits, please help Aeon get out of this place. Yay. And that was a really pointless scene, if you ask me, because we already knew what she wanted, but whatever. Come on, must load faster. Get us out of here. How does it feel to sleep inside a dungeon? Well, this is the second night in the dungeon, so i uh, kind of getting used to it. <laughs> get up, get to work. Fine. Here, I will open it for you. Well, yesterday you allowed me to... You wanted me to get up to the door before you opened it. Which is stupid on your part, because uh, if you do that, I could reach through the bars and knock you out, or whatever. But Aeon is stupid. I will give, give him that. He is stupid enough not to take advantage of certain situations. But, uh, yeah. No, I didn't find ten pieces of obsidian. Yeah, <laughs> we have to go through this whole entire thing again. I'll probably just uh, speed up this process the second time around because uh, it's just the same exact thing over and over again. So, yay! See you at the end of this freaking ridiculous, long, annoying quest to find obsidian! Yes, we found ten pieces, dude, and let's go ahead and return to our cell. Even though, I am sure, like I said, Anne will be able to knock out this guy pretty easily. You know, he, he, uh, Anne has found, killed undead, killed guardians, killed slashers, and all this crap that, that are a lot more powerful than these guys, with the help of the scepter, but, eh, whatever. Anyway. Who's that? Who's coming up behind you? Oh, it's you, Afto. I'm sorry, Han. I think they brought you here because of me. No, it's not your fault. Are you? You are very kind, Han. Where's Arcia? I'm in here, Afto. Good, at least you're safe. How did you get in? That's not important. Here to rescue me. I really need some help. What are you doing here? Oh no, they found us. You should not socialize with these evil souls. They did not deserve the salvation of Levante. But why? Why do you have to keep them here? What? You want us to let these two go? Your mother gave the orders, so you better abide by them. Come this way. Prisoners should be should stay quiet. Alright, so apparently Salela is that kid's that kid's uh mother. Anyways, <laughs> wow. I should actually end this uh episode. So yeah, Salela's son is Afto. 
This is all a trap. That is nonsense, Corky. What the crap are you talking about? It's not a trap. We better get out of here quick. How did he get out of the dungeon? I have no idea how that how he came. got out of the dungeon. But anyway, guys, with that, I'm going to end off the episode. This is UT Young for this signing off, saying keep things frosty.